Hi there, this is Corey Ringdahl with the Red Carpet Report. Uh, tonight we are here to celebrate the extraordinary Stan Lee. We'll be talking with uh, many of the luminaries who are going to be celebrating him with us. And uh, come along with us and my fellow guardians as we have that exact conversation. <laughs> Hi, Todd McFarlane. How are you doing today? Thanks for having me. Thanks for being had. I'm Corey with the Red Carpet Report. How are you doing? Corey, good, good to meet you today. Bye. Good to meet you too. Holy crap, i got to shake your hand. <laughs> Done. <laughs> well, that's me. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going I'm to interview Corey today. Hi, I'm Corey. Yeah. I'm being interviewed by, by a comic book legend, Todd McFarlane. Uh, Todd, let me first just fanboy out just a little bit. Spawn number 10 with Cerebus. How did you wrangle that? Uh, I'm Canadian, and Dave Sim, the creator of Cerebus, is Canadian. So whenever you have bloodlines a little bit, right, nationality, sometimes you can find back door. Uh, so you were, you were sitting in the, the socialized medical office. Right. But, but again, <laughs> Sharing Canadian syrup. Uh, the other thing, too, was uh, the Dave, who's the creator of Cerebus, you know, he was doing an independent comic book. And uh, Spawn, as you know, a bunch of us had just left Marvel and started our own independent company that's been for 25 years in a row now the number three company behind Marvel and DC. Congratulations. Yeah. So, you know, most people know Marvel DC, but if you go, who's number three? That's Image Comics. Um, and so Dave had the same sort of, you know, mindset. And I go, let's just, let's just do a sort of a public service issue and just talk a little bit, use our characters as the metaphor, but talk about the industry and creator rights. The, the, the hands coming out of the cage was a very haunting scene. Um, so, yeah, thank you for it. Years later, thank you for it. Sure. Yeah, we had a good time with that. Um, so, uh, ha have you, uh, I guess, met Stan Lee? You must have at this I'm point. St yeah, Stan, look, uh, first time I met Stan Lee, I'm 16. I'm, uh, I'm, you lucky bastard. Yeah, so I'm, I'm down in Florida at a baseball camp. I want to be a baseball player. Um, we check into a whole, uh, holiday inn, and we got a flight leaving late the next day. And as my mom checking in, I see this little cardboard sign that says, down the hall, comic book convention. Okay. I walk down the hall, there's three or four tables outside, because some of the artists were outside of the convention. It was just a little small room. And at one of the tables was Stan Lee. Now, this is the guy that at that point, I'm collecting comic books, I'm becoming fanatical. I just, probably about a year earlier, became started collecting. You read the soapbox in the back, the whole bit, yeah. And every book says, Stan Lee presents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to me, this guy is the Pope. Yeah. So I, I, I go up to him and I go, uh, Mr. Lee, uh, uh, my name's Todd and I'm trying to break into comic books and would it be okay if I asked you some questions? And he, he, pulled up, he pulled up a chair and he goes, as long as there's nobody in front of me, because uh, he wasn't the Stan Lee of t today, right? So he goes, as long as there's nobody in front of me, ask away. And for two days, he let me sit next to him for two days asking at least 100 questions. And when I left, I went, I'm making it my mission to try and break into comic books, and so what a guy! Ten, ten, ten years later, I, you know, I'm in comics. I get to do Spider-Man. I make the changes. It helps my career. And Stan is the guy who's cheerleading, going, you know, Todd, all those changes you're doing on Spider-Man that some of the executives are sort of saying, pull back on. He goes, just do what you want to do. Keep going. He was my biggest cheerleader. And then, recently, for the last four or five years, I've been up on a lot of panels with him because his hearing's not so good, he needs sort of an interpreter. So we do this little sort of, you know, Martin Lewis sort of shtick a little bit. So I, I've, I've had the great pleasure of being with him. I introduced him when he got his Walk, walk of Fame star and, and, and a couple of weeks ago when he got his uh, Chinese Man's Theater hand. So I, I get to bring him up on stage. So Stan and I are we're pretty close. I'm fortunate to have known him for pretty, you know, pretty closely for over 30 years now. Well, you know, I thought you were a lucky man in many ways, and now I can chalk yet one up, yet one more up to that list. Uh, Todd, it's been an absolute remarkable pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Hey, folks. I hope you had as good a time as I did. Uh, make sure you leave a comment below uh, telling us about how Stan Lee changed your life. Uh, give us a like. Definitely a subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, Excelsior. <laughs>